everyone welcome back to the channel this is Mark Vavoda the Tesla Prince today I'm going to do a follow-up video related to flash end of life and you can see here actually I guess you can't see here but I'll get there in a minute to the desktop um, but essentially let me just cover uh, briefly what what the goal of this video will be so today was the end of life day for the flash player a um, lot of views on some of my videos, lots of comments. And, uh, you know, while some of you were assisted, you know, you have your Flash players working, you're able to use that mms.config file workaround. You may have not paid attention to the fact that there's still a number of issues that will be coming up soon. And I tried to point this out. Um, let me switch to my desktop here. Um, in this video where I have the mms.config generator for the whitelist uh, content as well as pretty much all the other videos in the comments and I think in the description as much as possible if I had space you'll notice if I scroll down here um, and that is that so you may have had success getting flash to work but notice this warning up here and that is there's still the web browsers, they will be coming out with updates that basically disable Flash in the browser anyways. And there's Microsoft uh, Windows Update that will remove Flash from your system. So uh, Linux and Mac, they may be having updates come as well. I'm not sure what the plan is there, but I'm just pointing out that both the web browsers as well as the operating system will be coming out with updates eventually to remove uh, or disable Flash. So you're not out of the woods just because you followed this configuration and you got things working. I um, just want to point out that making this video uh, was probably a lot harder for me to make it than for you to watch it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm big on security and, you know, here's my proof. I have a 2FA YubiKey. Um, so I'm a big person that believes in security, two-factor authentication. So what I'm going to talk about in this video kind of goes against everything that is in my normal nature, but some of you may be desperate. So uh, this video is here to help you. Um, and so, you know, what do we do if you're using Google Chrome, if you're using Firefox? Um, I don't believe Internet Explorer will be impacted at this point. There's all the links I had put um, in this tool any of you that use this page a lot of you use this over the last couple of days uh, in the top notes up here if you clicked on this google chrome link or if you clicked on this firefox link or this internet explorer edge windows operating system link they all gave details about the timelines when the browsers and the operating system were planning to remove flash support uh, chrome version 88 and higher and i believe chrome is technically scheduled for next week Tuesday of next week which is the 19th anyways you can follow these links to know the exact dates don't quote me on that please investigate yourself but so if you've gotten yourself past today's problem where the flash content wasn't working it's working now you still are going to need to take some steps to make sure this still works now let me just qualify this by saying look guys this is all temporary you got to find another alternative to, um, you know, to get your, your applications working and everything. Doing these steps, it's not a great idea because what I'm going to show you today is how to disable auto updates for your web browser. And uh, that means you're not going to get security updates and all that kind of thing. So anyways, this is for those of you that are desperate. So there's my disclaimer and we'll just continue along here. So... The first thing we'll take a look at is um, the fact that Chrome and Firefox and I believe the new Microsoft Edge that's based on Chrome, it'll follow the same schedule as, as normal Google Chrome as far as I understand. Uh, so fairly soon here this month, uh, Chrome, Microsoft Edge based on Chrome and Firefox will remove support for Flash in those browsers. Um, and so... There's a number of things that you should consider doing um, if you're desperate enough. And that is, so first of all, looking at Chrome, you can see here on the screen, you know, you can Google this yourselves. 
Um, there's many ways to skin a cat. And here's a page that says seven ways to disable automatic Chrome updates. Um, and I'm not going to go through all this. You guys can read it yourself. But one of the items in here, it talks about um, there's a few Windows services. And if I go here into the services uh, panel, you'll see there's Google update service and Google update service. There's kind of two different Google update services here. Their names slightly different, GP update, GP update M. And these two services are responsible for keeping Google Chrome up to date. And so if you disable these services, first you stop them and disable them, then Chrome won't be able to automatically update itself. Um, and that's one of the items in here disable Windows Service Manager, disable that. Um, so if you were to navigate to flash.vsoft.solutions, this is the general area where that uh, mms.config generator tool lives. Well, if you go into a directory here called downloads, Actually, no, sorry, it's not in downloads. It's in this folder, flash.vsoft.solutions. I've created a batch file, and it's called um, disable chrome updates.bat, located right here. And so let's just, I'll show you how this thing works. So you can run this on your system, and it should disable these services. So if I were to... Right now they're disabled because I was doing this before. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on. And now you can see over here, it's set to automatic and manual. If I come back to my page here and I click on this, and it, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it a little bit. Actually, I guess I could just do it from there. So you just download it and then you run this file and what it's going to do is it's going to pop up and say, you know, blah, 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 Windows Protect. This is a batch file that gives itself administrator access because it, that's what's required to do the next steps. So first thing it does is it gives itself administrator access. Then it stops those two services. And then it disables those two services, the Google update services. So if you click on the more info, link now there's a button here called run anyway so you run that and it's going to ask for permission would you like to run this file i say yes and it does everything and then just pauses at the end so you can scroll up and see you know what it's doing first is just outputting all your environment variables this is in case any of you have problems you can copy this and paste it for me to help you if I have time to help you, that's another thing. I've had a lot of people message me directly. I would ask, please do not message me directly. Just leave comments in the YouTube videos. And if I, if I have the time, I'll try to help you. But please don't contact me directly. Anyways, so this batch file does that. It stops the Google Chrome update services here. If they're not running, then it says it's not started. And then down here, it just disables them. Now you can take a look at what's in that file. And if I just press uh, space here or click X, it'll, it's finished. And if I come back here and I go view, or sorry, action, refresh, and I look at these two services, you'll see disabled and disabled. So it disables those Google update services. And so what that's going to do is it's going to stop Google Chrome from automatically updating itself and removing flash support. At least that's, that's what the hope is. If you want to see what this looks like, you can just click on Disable Chrome Update. Just click on that. Actually, I guess it automatically wants to download it. Is there a way to view this? Open link in new tab. Is it no, it's just going to download it. Anyway, you can download it and take a look at it if you don't trust me. And see what's in there. But I just basically looked 